of a tunnel, fortunately, George. But before we get to the forecast, I've got to show you an absolutely remarkable video coming from a rescue effort in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I'm going to let you listen to this, but this woman survived a near drowning in this floodwater thanks to some very courageous men on a boat who arrived just in time. The woman's convertible was about two-thirds submerged. She can be heard asking for help. We're breaking the window. We're breaking the window. The car keeps sinking, and one of the men jumps out of, uh, onto the, uh, from the boat onto the car, starts to tear through the convertible's fabric roof just moments before she pulls, he pulls the woman from the sinking vehicle. Watch this. Get my dog. Her dog. Get my Unbelievable. Dog. And George, Get it actually dog. is more incredible what he does now. She calls and pleads for him to go underwater to look for her dog, who's still trapped in the vehicle, and comes up successfully with, with the puppy. Who is that man? Who is that man? I would love to interview that man. Thank goodness for the volunteers and the authorities out there doing these rescues. There's been over 1,000 swift water and high water rescue attempts already successful. Unfortunately, there have been fatalities, but this is, again, showing you the kind, spirited nature of complete strangers helping uh, the communities across uh, southern Louisiana. Here's the latest satellite loop. I want to show you the bulk of the precipitation. There's Louisiana, there's Mississippi, there's Texas. The good news is, as I mentioned a moment ago, that the bulk of the precipitation is moving away from the affected flood areas, but not before considering or not before producing a considerable amount of rainfall, over 680 millimeters. That's roughly 26 inches of rain. Here's, here it is, the future radar going forward over the next 24 hours.